Hey guys, this is Peter from Roland here to talk about the TR8 Rhythm Performer drum machine. TR8 is basically a uh, recreation of the 808 and 909 drum machines from kind of classic Roland era. Uh, very influential with hip hop, techno, pop music, pretty much any kind of record that you listen to from that generation, you're bound to hear some 808 and 909 drum sounds on it. The TR8 basically emulates those using ACB technology. Whereas the old drum machines were analog, this has faithfully recreated all of the analog signal path using digital emulation down to the component level. So you get a really, really authentic behavioral uh, sound that will adapt to basically what the controls are set to, and it's really, really convincing. So uh, it uses uh, step sequencing in addition to uh, real-time playing. So if I want to maybe step sequence some rhythms, I can hit play right there to play a sequence select a drum that I want to play for a program, snare drum for example, and then put in some notes on the step sequencer. This type of programming is really handy, especially for me because I'm not a drummer. Having a grid to compose rhythms on is really, really convenient. Uh, if I am a player, I can always go to the InstaPlay sections and actually play this by hand. So any kind of style that I'm accustomed to, I can do with the TR8. So say I want to start a pattern from scratch, I can go to Pattern Select, and I have uh, room for 16 different patterns right here. If I want to clear something out entirely, hold the Clear button, hit Pattern Number 1, go back to TR8, I can press Play, I can see that there's no notes stored in the sequence. So if I want to start with, say, Bass Drum, hit the Bass Drum button. If I want to add accents, which will basically boost the volume of all the instruments on that one step. You can hit the step button, then enter in the note data right there. Press snare drum. Get a basic groove going. Move over to my hi-hats up here. Press the hi-hat button. From here I can actually use the tone and decay knobs of any of these instruments to shape the sound. Kind of open up that hi-hat, change the timbre. Everything is intuitively laid out, there's no menus to, to adjust any kind of parameters. I can basically move one knob or one fader and it'll always do that design function, making it really intuitive to use live. Say if I want to change the drum sounds. I can actually go into the drum select section and hit instrument, and then I can see the selections that I have available right here. Right now I have the 808 hi-hat selected. If I wanted the 909 hi-hat selected, I could just hit this one and change it to the 909 hi-hat. Go back to TRX mode where I can step sequence things, maybe change the velocities or the volumes of each step, getting more kind of organic groove. Maybe go back to InstaPlay and hit the InstaRect button where it'll actually record note data onto the sequence. So it'll record that groove that I just made with the, uh, with the hand clap. Super easy to get grooves going, really, really easy to get drum ideas happening with step sequencing. So on top of that, I, al I also have two different effects to work with. I have a reverb, which I can actually input on a per step basis, which is kind of cool. I hit the step button and then put a reverb step on the beat that I want to hear it. So in this case, I'll put it on step four, or step uh, number 13. Move over to the delay, put it on uh, step number five, or beat number two. And then having the levels of both right here make it easy to kind of kill it when I'm done. See, it's very, very intuitively laid out, so I can actually perform with this thing. It's, it's so much more fun than using some kind of software-based, you know, mouse and keyboard kind of drum solution when you're either producing or playing live. Having control over all the parameters in one box is really, really handy. Uh, one effect that kind of goes over the master is the scatter, which is basically a way to chop the audio in real time in different ways. So we hit the on button. 
do a glitching effect. I have 10 selections that I can choose from and uh, an adjustable depth for from 1 to 10, which is basically intensity. So I hit on, and then I hit the depth button, and then I can use the knob to change the intensity. And then press the on button to, to kill the effect. Go over to the go over to the step sequencer, maybe add some more hits. See, it's super easy and super fun to play this live. You get a basic groove going, and then you can kind of build on top of it. Kind of like how a guitarist uses a loop pedal to kind of layer grooves on top of each other. I could do something similar with drums using this box. So, very, very fun way to actually get groups going. I could even extend each pattern up to 32 steps if I wanted to. I could even chain patterns together if I wanted to go to the pattern select button right here. I can queue up different patterns in time and it'll cycle through based on what range I've selected. So I can move outside of the whole one measure uh, way of thought and kind of get more comp uh, comprehensive drum ideas and drum writing happening. Uh, with this box you can actually use a USB cable, route it to your computer, and actually get individual outs for all of the drums in addition to a stereo out of the main mix. Uh, all high quality audio, 96K. You just hook it up USB and it can bring in all 16 channels of all the different instruments or whatever? Or it, does like, it does 13. 13? 13. Um, it'll do Each all one's split. Each a stereo or a mono? Mono. Okay. I'll split mono outs and then it gives you a mono feed of whatever the external input is because you can route okay. external signals into right. this. And then you can also get a stereo feed of the master or the main mix. Okay. So one very important feature about the TR8 is the USB capability. You can basically use a USB cable, route it to your computer, and get all individual outs, all mono outs of each and every drum. Uh, you, you even have a stereo mix where you can hear the effects and the scatter effect on that stereo channel. And you even get a channel for the external input where you can actually route audio signals into the TR8 and use it as an audio interface, making it really, really convenient for any kind of studio usage. Uh, it runs at 96K, high quality audio, and you can even send MIDI signals to and from the unit in addition to sync. So this box is really, really great for any kind of live situation, but it's also really at home in a studio. And you basically cut down your cable count to one USB cable if you want to hook it up to your computer, making it really, really convenient. Uh, if you want to know more information about the TR8, check it out at rollinus.com or skitscat.com.